All right, guys, today we're going to be replacing the wipers on my 57 Atlas lathe. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, guys, let's change these wipers out. Um, I've only got two of them, the ones that are here on the front and the back, or uh, excuse me, you know, the headstock and tailstock in on the front side of the ways. Uh, but I found some on eBay a while back and I haven't gotten around to changing those yet and I know uh, my heap was looking for some so when I got I managed to buy a new set with new felts and new rubber so we'll be putting those on uh, I'll have to find some screws here for the ones on the back side though because I only have two screws so that's the screw I'm going to need. It looks like a I don't know, 832 or something, maybe. Or 632. Oops. Yeah, drop it into the cast iron shavings. So. Anyway, this is what they look like. And uh, we'll clean this up real quick and put the new ones on. Alright, well, as luck would have it, my father-in-law did have a couple of the right screws. Oh, hey, look at that. I didn't even realize it, but these new ones that I got, I guess they already had screws, so I guess I'm going to send them off to my heap also. So anyway, here's a left and a right-handed cover, and four screws that should fit. So uh, pretty sure I got your address, but I'll, I'll try to find a stamp and we'll mail that off to you. Anyway, for right now, are these going to be the right screws? I don't think they are. No, these are these are too big, I think. That's funny. Well, maybe I won't be sending you some screws, I guess. Alright guys, I just want to show you how these go together. Uh, you got a rubber squeegee that goes here uh, up against the uh, holder and then this piece of felt that's what holds your oil so before i put these on i'm going to saturate this felt make sure it gets a good start in life it sure drinks up a bunch but when we put it on there and tighten it up it's probably going to squirt all over the place so that's all right it's not going to hurt the lathe to have a little excess oil on it. Alrighty. So we're going to put this one right here. If I can get my screw to go in. Make sure to, there's a little bit of play in this holder. I want to kind of push it down where there's a little, a little bit of pressure on that squeegee and the felt is, you know, definitely riding on the way. All right, let's uh, have a look and see if it actually applies oil like we hope. Oh yeah, see how it pushed up a little pile of nasty stuff and left a nice clean film of oil on there. Yeah, that looks real good. All right, we'll go do the other side. Call that a day. All right, well, we got them all mounted and uh, seem to be working okay here on the back, but the front has got such a deep step on it here. Uh, it's not really applying the oil so great, but uh, this lathe is sort of coming due for getting a rebuild. So I'm trying to work out getting all this tooling that I'm gonna need to do that. Uh, and you guys will get to watch the whole process, so that should be kind of fun. Not too many people actually bother redoing the beds on these things. They try to find a good one and throw away the old one. Well, you know, they've been doing that for a long time, so it's hard to find a good bed anymore. Okay, so the next project that's going to be coming up, we're going to have to bore this, this here out to accept this. This is the part that uh, 
you know, it rides on a drill and there's a set screw that goes in there. So we got all the machine work to do on this. And my chuck won't grab this part. It's not big enough. So we've got a face plate here. So we're going to play around with trying to find the center of this very irregular part uh, on a face plate. So that'll probably be the next thing on this project. All right, guys, I hope you uh, found that helpful. And uh, my heap, I believe I've got your address. If not, uh, I'll post a message here or something down in the comments. Um, anyway, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff and seeing old machines get fixed up, uh, please consider clicking on the old horizontal mill here and you'll get subscribed. Ring that bell. That way you'll get a notification every time I put up a new uh, video. And uh, you might be interested in checking out the uh, other videos that will be showing up here in the bottom.